friends, my name is Gabrielle, welcome to Reese Reads, and it is my favorite time of year again. I'm so excited. I have my skeleton shirt on and everything. My background has been getting progressively more Halloween themed, and I feel like it's time to bring back a tag that I created myself last Halloween and am going to do again this year. This is the trick or treat tag, and all the questions are Halloween themed. There are seven questions because seven is the magical number. So the first question is, which is brew? Your favorite magical series or book? Of course, last year I asked Harry Potter because who doesn't have Harry Potter as their favorite series? This year I'm going to try and be more creative and I'm going to say that my favorite, it goes with the theme of the question which is Brew, and that is Labyrinth Lost by Zareda Cordova. On her death day celebration she makes a wish to make all of her witchy powers go away and instead makes her entire family banish to the underworld. Now this book is really good, it has a lot of Day of the Dead themes, it's kind of like a beautiful creatures meets daughter of smoke and bone and it's just really good. The next question is the most superstitious book slash story that you have read. Now that book for me is going to be Johann's Cabal, The Necromancer. Now this book is not necessarily the most superstitious book that I've ever read, but it has a lot to do with deal with the devil kind of superstitions and how this guy who makes a deal with the devil twice ends up spending his entire life slash undead life learning the laws of necromancy. Definitely a book with a lot of superstitious themes. The next question, number three, is Candy Corn. Favorite childhood Halloween book? My favorite childhood Halloween story that I can think of right now is Scary Scary Halloween by Eve Bunting. It has a lot of really cool Halloween themes. It's spooky enough for Halloween without being absolutely terrifying. Question number four is Pumpkin Spice, which is your favorite seasonal book. Now, my favorite seasonal book to read at this moment is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. It's essentially the jungle book retold in a graveyard and like, how is that not Halloween? Question number five is Ghostly Ghouls, the scariest book you've ever read. Um, okay, this book I forgot about completely until I was looking up scary books trying to think of one, and that would be Witches of Worm. I read this in like fourth grade, and I totally forgot about how terrifying it was. It's basically this cat is possessed by a demon or something, and it gets all these like girls to worship it, and they all become witches, and it's just really creepy. Like, you guys need to check this out. I forgot all about it, and now I really want to read it again, but I had highly recommend recommend it because it was really good. Question number six is costume party, your favorite book cover. Mr. Wicker, I mean look how spooky it is. Now here's a throwback we all know and love. My camera died so I'm back on my phone and I'm gonna continue. So my favorite Halloween themed cover is Mr. Wicker and I love it because it's just so simple but it gets your attention because of the gothic writing and how it stands out against the dark background. You know that it's gonna be good so I absolutely love this book. You guys should definitely check it out. It is about a girl who is missing a memory and ends up trying to kill herself and then all of a sudden she meets this man, Mr. Wicker, in this place called the library and it turns out that he has kept the lost memories of so many thousands of people. It's really interesting, it's really spooky, it's gothic and perfect for this season so you guys should definitely check it out. That is my recommendation. I am now tagging people and I am tagging Sandy Reads A Lot, Winks and Ink, Gentle Strength, and Pickle Hearts Books for this tag. I hope you guys do it and I'm also tagging everyone who watches so everyone who watches this should definitely do it because it's such a fun tag and I mean not to say sound conceited and think that my own tag is so fun, but I had a lot of fun doing it, so I hope you guys do too. If you guys haven't already seen my next video, then stick around because it will be playing right after this. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, then you definitely should because I upload bookish videos twice a week. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Also, I am participating in Spooktober, so if you guys want to learn more about that, check out the description box because it's so much fun doing lots of fun Instagram challenges. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye. My first choice is one that I don't know how many of you guys know, but it's called Across the Universe by Beth Revis. 